up to this weekend's match between four-time world champions, the Springboks, and three-time champions, the All Blacks, is picking up steam. Scott Robertson confirmed his squad to take on the box at Ellis Park. Sam Kane is set to make his return to international action for the first time since the 2023 Rugby World Cup. Meanwhile, the hosts have confirmed that Eben Elizabeth will be available for the clash and will start on the bench. Now, for more on this, we're joined by ENCA Sports Editor Vata Ngobeni. A very good morning to you, Vata. So the main talking point being Sam Kane's return. What did Scott Robertson say about his thinking uh, into getting into that decision? Uh, good morning, Nandi. Yes, uh, the return of Sam, Sam Kane has been quite a, uh, the big news, um, especially with uh, Scott Robertson announcing his starting lineup. Um, it's important that you have a guy like Sam Kane, former captain, got red carded in that World Cup final last year against the Springboks, a game which the All Blacks lost by one point uh, to make the Springboks back-to-back -back world champions and four-time world champions. I think what's important when it comes to Sam Kane is that he's going to form part of a, a, an experienced axis of players amongst those forwards because we, when you look at the pack of forwards, um, when it comes to test match experience, uh, not too many of those players uh, have played in a game of this magnitude against the Springboks. You have the likes of Ardi Sevilla there. You've got the likes of Scott Robertson as well. Uh, sorry, uh, Scott Barrett and also uh, Cody Taylor. So they're going to lean heavily on, the, on those players when it comes to experience against a, a Bok Ford pack that is also very, very, very experienced. And with the likes of guys like Eben Etzebeth also coming off the bench, um, the likes of Sam Kane are going to be become very, very crucial and critical when it comes to decision-making, when it comes to those scrums and those line-outs.